Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Louise, this is Sewing Days, and today we are going to be doing another unboxing video. Now, I've done a couple of these in the past and you guys absolutely loved them. So I've had a few bits delivered, some fabric, some haberdashery, so we are now gonna open them together. As always, if you enjoy our content, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the little notification bell, and you'll be one of the first to find out when we release new videos every Tuesday. Also, please leave us a comment down below and let us know what your favorite item is that you see us unbox in today's video because um, I always love to know what you guys are enjoying and I will of course let you know what my favorite is because that's literally the point. <laughs> So like I said, we've done a couple of these videos before and I will take the most recent one just up here and we'll, we'll put the others in the description box down below. So I have a box of haberdashery that has come in that I have just opened the top because I ordered something specifically for a customer. So I needed to get that out, but I haven't looked at any of the rest of it. But the other box is a box of fabric that's come in from Makawa and I've got no idea what is in this box. When I order fabric, I pre-order it months and months ahead, sometimes over a year. So by the time it comes, I've kind of forgotten what's in it. I forget which order they're coming in in. Obviously with COVID, tons of stuff has been delayed. So it's all coming in as and when. So I do have a box of fabric, but I couldn't tell you what was in it. No idea. So we're about to find out together. I'm gonna grab the boxes and we'll go from there. So box number one, this is the box of haberdashery that I said that had arrived. So first off in here, we have some more of these trim it kits. Now I'm in an unboxing a couple of weeks ago. I will pop that video just up here. We had tons of these kits come in and they've been so popular. I'm now trying to get different um, animals and creatures and things. So we'll see which ones have arrived. We have two flamingos. We have a mermaid. We have a rainbow. We actually have two rainbows. Um, and a unicorn. I also featured these kits in the video I posted last week, which was a sew and tell. So it's basically everything I've been making over the last couple of months. So I made the two conversion of this kit um, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. It was They were really good. It's so easy to follow. They're only £2.60 and for what you get for your money, it's an absolute bargain. So like I said, I'm going to keep more of these in. And if you look on the website, there are loads of other ones as well, dinosaurs and chickens and things. But all of the items that I mentioned today will be on the website by the time you see this. So you can click the links in the description down below and um, I'll put everything individually and then that will take you straight there so if you want to have a look at them a bit closer then you can find all the information that you need there so also in this box we have some more knitting needles our knitting needles are weirdly sizes that I don't sell very often are um, selling very very well at the moment so I have knitting needles size five millimeters in 30 centimeter length which is 12 inches if that's how you work and then I have five and a half if I can open the box five and a half in the same length so in so it's five and a half millimeters um in 30 centimeters I'm just gonna move a bit closer I feel like I'm miles away <laughs> We also have some plastic head pins. These are a standard, we always keep these in, um, but we've been running a bit low because I think a lot of people are starting sewing at the moment or are um, doing more than they normally would. So they seem to be stocking up on essentials, which is really, really cool. And I love being able to advise people on what they should start with and what they should progress to and things like that. So, so the plastic head pins are really, really popular as are the flower head pins. So these are my favourite kind of pins. The end of them are, is flat, so it can go underneath your machine foot, not your needle. Do not sew over it with your needle, um, but they do go under your foot. So rather than having, if you have one with a bobble on the end, then when you're sewing, if you need to pull the pin out, it's gonna get stuck against the foot and you're not gonna have any wiggle room. Whereas if you use a flathead ones, they can go underneath the foot if they need to. Um, the bobby ones are really good if you're not very good with your fingers if they're not as nimble as they used to be um, if you're working on something by hand or if you're going to be sewing things on your machine and your pins aren't going to be going anywhere near it um, if you're going to be doing something like quilting or something like that then I always suggest the flower head pins and like I said this is something we always try to keep in stock okay what else have we got we have a 28 millimeter rotary cutter you guys seem to be buying these as quickly as I can get them in that will be going out 
add on the website and then we have a spare pack of blades to go with it as well going back to knitting needles this is four millimeter circular needles and 100 centimeters so they're a meter long so if you're going to be doing any longer projects or anything we need to work in the round they are perfect we also have a couple more rulers because again as soon as I put any rulers out there you guys are on it so we have a longer narrow one which is really quite good so it's one inch wide by 14 14 one four um, inches long and um, a lot of you like long thinner rulers so they're not so bulky but they're still easy to work with so obviously we've got one of those in and then we have this one which is six and a half inches by 12 inches so um it's just again a little bit more manageable if you don't have a lot of space but also really 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 handy we have got some ballpoint machine needles I'm trying to make it focus there we go in various sizes 70s up to 90s and then the rest of this looks like quilting clips now i get asked about quilting clips a lot and i get asked what my preference is and if i use them and things like that uh, yes i do use them they're really good for when you're layering up quilts or you doing sometimes cushion covers and things like that when i'm piecing my quilts and doing patchwork i prefer to use pins because then it sort of indicates to me where i'm sewing but these clips are really really good they're basically just like little plastic clips that you would use for, I don't know, some stationery or something like that. But they are really, really handy and they go over the edge of your work um, so they don't make a hole in it. So sometimes if you're using something quite fine or just something you don't want to make a hole in, um, then the clips work really, really well. So these packs are obviously rainbow ones. They're packs of 10 and I've got five packs here. And then I have one jumbo pack, which is 50 assorted colours um, and they come in this really nice plastic tub so that you've got something to store them in when you get them home so they are there as well if you want to invest in a bigger pack that is it from my haberdashery i'm so excited to find out what's in this fabric box so i'm gonna go and grab that now and then we can find out together <coughs> exciting Okay, here we go guys. I'm so excited about this. I just have literally no idea. Um, like I said, it's coming from Makawa. Um, it's definitely not a top-up order as far as I know because I didn't say if I wanted anything added on. So it must be a new collection. Let's see. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is cute. Okay, so... <laughs> I love when they pack these boxes because they pack everything level so you have to take one out to see the next one so it's not like you open the box and see all of them in one go um it's like Christmas you get to open them one at a time which is awesome so this is so cute this is I'm gonna hold it the right way this I don't even know what range this is from what range is this from Makawa Hearts by Andover and it looks like I ordered it in lots of colours. Um, there is only five metres of each though on each bolt. So again, as always, if there is anything you want, make sure you grab it relatively quickly because with these videos, um, everything seems to go pretty quick because so many of you see it. So if you do fancy it, head to the website or pop in and see us and you can do it there. Um, again, everything will be tagged in the description box down below. But first one is blue with little tiny little hearts. The hearts are probably about quarter of an inch half a centimeter big just to give you an idea so in the blue and then in the pink and i've just seen what's underneath it it's halloween fabric <laughs> that's so cool so just for context um it's the middle of june <laughs> and we've just had halloween in um normally i'd be getting ready for christmas right, right about now but i think it's all been delayed or most of it's been delayed um having said that i could get through the bottom of this box and then there's some in there but yes halloween is here i'm so excited so we have this one with bats on let me just flip it around um so it's gray with black bats and it does look super cool again only five meters yeah only five meters of it so that one won't stick around for long <laughs> look at it pumpkins love it um last year i got asked tons uh, for halloween fabric for face masks but also trick-or-treat bags people love to make trick-or-treat bags with these um and also make reusable halloween gifts so rather than giving sweets in plastic bags um making like little gift bags to give away so that um it reduces plastic but this one super cool 
super duper cool that's awesome um right back to hearts so we also have the white on red um I, this one's gonna be really popular i just yeah i just know already um so there's three of those hearts here we go so then i've also got this one i'm not sure if you can be able to see this one bear with let me take out the plastic so when i have the ring light and everything's wrapped in plastic it does make it, it really shiny and it's just a little bit difficult especially because there's also a window behind as well so sometimes lighting can be a bit weird i've taken out the plastic so you should be able to see it better it's white on white hearts can you, there we go you can kind of see it this is obviously i'm gonna put it at super angle um but it's the same as the other heart ones that i have shown you i think that's gonna be really popular tone on tone ones always are right what else have we got we have some more halloween this is cool it's a bit darker so it's kind of a mix between the two so if you look at the three together they look really good they look really good together i don't know if you'd ever if you'd want to do a halloween quilt or a cushion or something but together they look awesome I'm really chuffed with them. Something else I'm really chuffed with. Oh my god, these are so good. More hearts. But, da 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 da, rainbow. This is so cool. So this is on like a blue background. I'd say it's navy. It definitely looks more of a royal blue on the camera. But it is definitely a navy. It's really, really cool. And all the hearts are different. I am definitely stealing some of that for me. And I also have it in white with the white background which I really love. Bit more subtle. Um, and then this, which is really random that's here on its own because I thought this came in another collection, but there we go. I have a look on my invoice what this one is. Oh, it's got all stuff for Christmas in it. I'm not gonna show you, but it's got little previews of projects that you can make for Christmas, which I will show you in due course. But right now, oh, okay, got ya. So this is um, actually with the Halloween range, which I did not realize, but I think it's really cool. And they called it clamshell in silver. So it's a really interesting shape. Obviously it oscillates, it can go any direction, which is really, really cool. Although it's from the Halloween range, you absolutely wouldn't have to do it with the Halloween range at all. It would go great with any, any others. So it's sort of got mustards and grays and blacks and whites in it. So so um, I think that would be really, really popular just in general, not just with Halloween. That is it for the unboxing. Um, lots of new fabric, lots of kits, new bits of haberdashery in. As always, please let us know what your favourite item was. I'm going to say mine's probably this one. Just want to make everything out of it. Um, if not, definitely this Halloween one. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Sometimes we can all get a bit serious and with the year and a half we've had, it's very easy to um, lose sight of having a bit of fun. And I think those definitely boost your mood. As always, stay tuned to our social medias. You can stay up to date with everything day to day with the shop and I will tag every item that I've talked about in the description box down below as well as the videos I've mentioned as well. That's about it. That felt like that went really quick. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just because I'm talking really quickly because I'm very excited about that fabric. And I'm also excited because I know you guys are going to be excited about it. So I can't wait for you to see this. If you want to stay up to date, like I said, head to the social medias. We have a mailing list on the website. You can shop online. You can shop here with us. But leave us a comment, even if you're miles away, because we love to hear from you guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell. You know all of this by now. And it will be great to see you back here next week for another video. Have a good day, guys. Mm -hmm.